Hello again, my friend. Call for a drink, take a seat, and listen to the legend of the Kush Chebawa. All over Ireland, not only do we listen for the sounds of a wailing banshee, we will also be on the lookout, fearfully so, for the Kush Chebawa, the Irish for the deaf or silent coach. It's more commonly known as the death coach. It is said that if death is upon us or someone we know, mainly a family member, then it cannot return from whence it has been sent without a passenger. One fine summer afternoon, Michael Noonan was walking into Bally Duff to collect a pair of brogues he had left with a cobbler. His way took him on the towpath alongside the river, past the now derelict Hanlon's Mill. To Michael's surprise, he could hear, as clear as a bell, the sounds of the huntsmen and hounds at full cry, even though he knew this couldn't be true, as the Dunhallow hounds formed in 1745, they are the oldest continuous hunt hounds in Ireland, were in a totally different area. Fear took the place of Michael's surprise when he heard the unmistakable clack clack of the mill's mechanism working as it had been deserted years previously. He ran as though the hounds were chasing him all the way into Bally Duff. Upon reaching the cobblers, a breathless but relieved Michael met his old friend and neighbour, Darby Haynes. Darby was a carrier by trade, Wishing to wait for his nephew to get to town, he asked Michael to take his horse and cart home. Michael was only too happy to assist, and certainly didn't fancy the walk home past Hamlin's Mill, especially as it was getting dark. The dark, as it turned out, was to be the least of Michael's worries that night. The moon rose full and bright, clearly lighting the road. Michael knew the horse had had a hard day's work, so he drove slowly home. Settling comfortably back in his seat, Michael lazily watched a reflection of the moon in the river, letting the old horse lead the way. Michael sat bolt upright suddenly as the reflection of the moon disappeared. It was a cloudless sky, so where had the cloud come from? What Michael saw next turned his blood to ice. Looking around, he saw a large black coach drawn silently alongside him. The coachman and the six coal-like horses were all draped in black. However, if this was not terrifying enough, they were all headless. The coach quickly came abreast and passed the fright of Michael, the coachman laying his whip soundlessly across the backs of the horses, disappearing as quickly as it had come into view. Michael Noonan, trembling, somehow made it home, settled the horses in the field and got sleeplessly through the night. The next morning, standing watching the horse, Michael was pondering the previous night's events. Daniel Madden, a huntsman to Mr Rixton of Ballygibbon, came riding into view at a mad pace. Stepping into the road, Michael waited for Daniel to reach him. For the love of God, don't stop me, gasped the rider. Whatever has happened, Michael asked. Madden was able to gasp out. His master had fallen ill and was close to death's door. He told Michael if he wished to help, he was to run and fetch Kate Finnegan, a midwife. Michael went as fast as he could, but of course he knew it was too late when he realised that the Kush Chebawa had claimed its latest passenger. And there you have the tale of the Kush Chebawa. If you enjoyed the story, please like, subscribe and leave a comment below. And stay safe my friend and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.